Writing is an important aspect in IELTS since it's a delivery of your language, expressing your ideas and also providing your ideas in a cohesive manner. Let's understand that there are two factors that one needs to consider when it comes to writing task. One is you should write in simple present tense. What is simple present tense? An activity that happens regularly. That's uh, if you are looking at a verb format, it is V1 or V1 plus S. For example, let's take uh, a topic like uh, in spite of advances in agriculture, we see that many countries still go hungry. What are the reasons? What can be the solutions? When we look into this kind of an essay, this is called statement and question based essay. This was a recently asked essay, in fact, last uh, two weeks before they had asked this question in IELTS. This question relates to, in spite of advances in agriculture, many countries still go hungry. We have to accept the statement, right? And this has to be in simple present tense because we are talking about advances in agriculture. Look at the question. You will understand that this question is a relevant question to the present day economy. So when we look into it, we can definitely go with a simple present tense stating that we do agree with the statement. And how do I do that? I don't have to say, I agree with the statement. No, we have to say, in this technologically developed country and in this highly advanced globalized world, we see that advances have occurred in various fields of activity. And agriculture is no exception to this. And we see that agriculture has taken various forms and has improved over the years. What agriculture was in the past is totally different from what we experience in the present. So you start off by saying this and you say, yes, it is true that agricultural advances have happened. And you can also say that there are many countries, we are not confining ourselves to India or any other country. You have to talk about African countries like Somalia and then Tanzania, Ethiopia. And then you have many other Latin American countries where most probably they don't believe in agriculture or they don't have these agricultural resources. And uh, they go starving, they go hungry. Particularly in Ethiopia, we have seen this happen several times. And Zimbabwe was one of, is one of the good examples that you can talk about it. And what is United Nations organization's role in this? So what are the problems? Unpredictability of monsoon in various countries. Despite advances, still agriculture is monsoon dependent in countries such as India. So you can talk about it and how agriculture can be revolutionized in various countries where government can take the uh, no, key role in providing export markets to agriculture as they do with other products. These are the solutions that you should talk about. When it comes to problems, talk about the monsoon dependent agriculture still in countries such as India. And when it comes to problems, you can talk about agriculture not, I mean the agriculture products or the produce not reaching the deserving people who go hunger. And uh, there are no agricultural resources in various countries which deprives them of basic food necessities.